What up, y'all? Better up, Custom. I wrote him. We at the shop. It's late. Jella Joe. Always in a diaper because she don't like no clothes. And it's chilly out, but she don't care. Ain't it right, baby? You better say something. Show them how dirty you are and how dirty you get. She's crazy. But all right, here we are. <laughs> the navigator's done. That light makes the door look bad. But anyway, y'all seen that earlier. And then we got. I didn't form the tubs yet for the MC, but I'm gonna form those tomorrow. We got the box Chevy on. It was been waiting for months, but it's all good. Let me let me show you all some shit besides our baby. What baby? You gonna say what the hell? Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? Hey Ron, go turn off that blower back there. What we got going on here? All right, so the anti rolls in it, the cross braces in it, the rear end is narrow, the lower brackets are on there for the coilovers. Uh, but yeah, let me show you all this shock. Look, look at this shock. Look how long this damn shock is. All right, look at the red boot that's on that shock. Y'all know what this is. That's a four by four lifted shock. I mean, when would you ever need to have, let's see if I can get this back here. When would you ever need to have that much damn travel? That's crazy. So, everybody's out there hacking these damn cars up. I mean, hacking them up, obviously. Look at, see all this cut, nasty shit. Now here's the thing about this, is that they had the rear end sitting so far back that it was hitting back there. And it cut the shit out of dude's tire. Now, you see the business there, y'all? I ain't never had a car leave my shop, we over here, whatever, and do that to a damn tire. Nothing like that. Maybe a little nick in the rubber. <laughs> but that ain't been in a long time. But to do that to a tire, I mean, come on. Y'all get this get the real deal here, I mean, come on. And it still got air in it. That was on the left side. So now if you look at the right side, now let's see, look, the chrome, again, it's cut. You cut the body here. Normally all you gotta do is this very, very little spot right here, you just take and put a little angle to it. That's all you gotta do. You never have to get into this. You never have to get into the chrome, depending on the wheel which I've shown before in my videos, that I take and I move the screw, I redrill the hole out here. I don't even take the chrome off the car. Take the screw out of here, or drill the hole over here first, then take the screw and move it. And you go to the next one. You take the screw, you, put, you drill a hole, you know, don't go too far out, but bam. Then you move the screw. And you keep going, keep going. But here, let's keep going on this one. And oh, look, the chrome is missing. Oh my God, look how bad the car is jacked up because, because there's too many people out there that have no clue what the hell they're doing and they keep touching these cars. And this car was probably a very clean car and it got destroyed. Not destroyed, yes, it can be fixed, it can be repainted, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But why? If you don't know what the hell you're doing, stop hacking up cars. Stop hacking up people's cars, man. Let, let us professionals <laughs> do this. Real shit. So anyways, control arms in it. The tabs are welded on for the anti-roll. The car is basically set at ride height, but we can move two inches up, two inches down from there. This guy wanted the car to stay sitting up. That's fine. And boom. Oh, now, this other thing that people are talking about is, like I said, with cutting fenders and stuff. That's horrible. Very horrible. Now, don't get me wrong, this tire, as you can see right here, the 275, 25, 28, 
99W. So the W, obviously most stand for it being a wider, fatter, finer, thicker tire or something. The number don't always, you can have two different brand tires with the same number on it, but the tires will be completely different on the rim. And if y'all didn't know that, now you know. But what I'm saying with this cut, hacked up shit to the fender. No, no, no. I degree the spindles back. I do not use an alignment machine to tell me how to set the alignment. I know how to set the alignment. I set the alignments on all these cars. Perfect. I've said it before. That alignment plate right there, that plate right here. Everybody's like, oh, the, the indicator's not on there. Well, I don't need the indicator. I just need the weight of the car to be on the suspension when the car is set down. So the car sets at ride height with adjustable coil lures, then you can set the ride height to what you want. Then you can align the upper control arm, shim it, whatever, which I degree the spindles back. That means the upper ball joint is farther back than the lower ball joint, which gives you a sport steering. A lot of people are gonna give me shit for giving this out, but hey, I'm the one that's been doing it for years. My cars are aligned fine. Sometimes it's, been, it's happened, shims before using aftermarket control arms, Shims and the upper control arms would fall out, you know, to greed the spindle back. Yeah, where am I going with this? I don't know. But to greed the spindle back, and over the years of pulling these control arms out, when you take the, the bolt out of the frame for the upper control arm, um, it's got the splines on it. So if you twist it out the first time, the, the second time that you put it back in to the frame, it becomes loose. So you can't get it that tight unless you put a wrench on the outside and the wrench on the inside. Then you don't always get it that tight and you still got some movement. So what I do now is once I pull the stop control arms off and have the, the bolts that are for the upper control arm that goes to the frame on there, I turn around and put the arm on, tighten the nuts so it tightens the bolts into the frame and then I weld the bolts into the frame. So then it can't move ever. And then the bolt, the nuts go on there and you can put the shims on there. A lot of you guys don't know about the QA1 upper control arms in the front. The shaft, you can twist the shaft and move the arm out more or in more. So if you have too many shims in there and your wheel's not lined up, you know, plumb up and down, then you can take the shaft and twist it and get it to tuck in some more or out, whichever way you wanna go. That's more info for you guys. So anyways. I, I don't be cutting the shit out of these cars. I don't. I never had to. Tons of the cars that came to me and already had wheels on them and they were jacked up. So, shit was cut, just like this car. No, I didn't cut this car. This car's cut, this car beat up now because somebody didn't know what the hell they were doing. So, yeah, anyways. Tomorrow I gotta get some new brake lines for it. You can see these are all rusted shit. Uh, I gotta get some outer axle seals because they were Shit. Probably cussing too much for these videos. But it's all good. What did I tell y'all about? Look at got parts, parts, parts. Look, there's no tub left over there. No tub left over here. But that's just uh, a rough cut because this car is getting full tubs. So we will actually be getting into this area to put the full tubs, just like we did. The T-Type. And this one has a GM. And that's getting 26. 26, 12, 9-inch lip, 13 overall. You know what? I have a light behind me. Let me plug this light in. Oh, there we go. Damn. Let there be light. So, these braces right here will be cut. But then once the new tub's in, that'll be braced back to the new tub, full tub. And then, pay attention here, y'all. Okay, you see how the hinge comes down, right? So you guys out there are putting these tubs in the cars and you're taking and you're notching out the top of the tub and you're putting so the hinge can go down in there. Well, now you're losing squat right there because you got the hinge going all the way down here but your tub's all the way up here so what is the point guys what's the point there's no point learn how to move the hinges in learn how to be able to tuck that tub all the way up to the bottom of this hinge 
or know how to brace this hinge here and trim out the bottom part of it so that way you have the clearance. It just amazes me that some of you guys do excellent tub work until I see that you notch the damn thing for the trunk hinge to go down into it. Unreal. Sebastian, I know you're watching. You're talking to the, talking to your phone right now, aren't you? Yes, I'm gonna get the rest of it cut out. Cut, 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 cut. You see how there's no outer now? Ooh, I got more work done to it. No outer. Because it's getting full tubs too. Because it's got a 20, what is it, 28 by 11, so it measures 12 overall. So in order to tuck this car, you have to sit in there, right? It has to have a full tub. So, all right, well, I'm probably boring the shit out of some of y'all, and it's all good. If you wanna watch the whole video, watch the whole video. If you don't, you're done. I don't care. I'm not gonna click, click bait y'all on that shit. So yes, so this one tomorrow, oh, the drive shaft. Let's talk about the drive shaft. So they had the drive shaft in the car, and they must have extended it Let's see, I think it was 58, 58 inches, 58 inches. And it only needs to be 55, 55, 54 and a half, right in there. You never really have to extend a drive shaft as long as you put the wheel in the right spot. The control arms, I took a picture of them earlier. They cut them, they put like another piece of control arm inside of them. This car right here, this is, this is a half inch bolt car, not a 916 bolt car. And they had 9 16 arms in it that they must have took out of a Cadillac because they had the little tabs on there or the, the little ball knuckle or whatever the fuck you want to call it for a, a leveling system. So you only see those on Cadillacs. You don't see those on Caprices. So those were on there and they were cut and they were extended and one was longer than the other and the rear end was so far back and crooked. and It's crazy that so many cars out there are still getting tore up because there's hacks out there and then... These hacks are taking advantage of people that have money and they're like, whatever it takes, this and that. But then they take advantage of them and just charge them out the ass and just destroy their car. It just doesn't make any sense. So this one will be done tomorrow and gone. So that'll be caught up on another job. Then I'm going to get these damn tubs for them tomorrow for, the, for Dexter's MC and get it done. But all right, y'all, that's it for now. Uh, better up customs, major on town. You see the business? I'm on it. We on it. And peace out. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all.